Welcome to Ending the Day with God on Wednesday the 14th of June. We opened with a song entitled One Bread, One Body, sung by John Michael Talbot. So we pray. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Continue our journey through chapters 7 to 10 of Mark's Gospel. Tonight, chapter 8, verses 14 to 18. Beyond the superficial. Now the disciples had forgotten to bring any bread, and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. And Jesus cautioned them, saying, Watch out, beware of the yeast of the Pharisees and the yeast of Herod. They said to one another, It is because we have no bread. And becoming aware of it, Jesus said to them, Why are you talking about having no bread? Do you still not perceive or understand? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes and fail to see? Do you have ears and fail to hear? And do you not remember? Thanks be to God. Now to our reflection this evening. This passage comes directly after the miraculous multiplication of bread and fish. It is the second such miracle that is recorded by Mark. There is something humorous about the disciples worrying about a lack of bread. Had they not seen how Jesus could multiply bread? Jesus uses the opportunity to speak about the yeast of the Pharisees and Herod. We normally think of yeast as a good component of bread making. But here Jesus is clearly thinking of it as a corrupting influence. He has observed how some of the religious authorities have introduced an oppressive ingredient into the religion that has terribly damaged it. He then turns to his disciples in the boat and questions them hard. They are worried about not having enough bread and his response is to get them to question the quality of their hearts, their eyes and their ears. Jesus frequently urges them to see beyond the immediate and to learn through a sensitised heart and through perception and deep listening. This discipline includes a faith-inducing remembering. Remember, says Jesus, those miraculous feedings. What does this tell you about your Father in heaven? The Pharisees are so focused on the outward and therefore live superficially. But if the disciples can develop a perceptive heart, they will develop kingdom of God instincts. Jesus uses every opportunity to call the disciples to use all kinds of life experiences, 
even a rumbling tummy, to develop faith muscles. The discipline is simple. Go beyond the superficial by pausing, feeling, listening, seeing and remembering. Amen. We join together now in the Lord's Prayer, saying, Our, Our Father, Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We commend unto thee, O Lord, our souls and our bodies, our minds and our thoughts, our prayers and our hopes, our health and our work, our life and our death, our parents and brothers and sisters, our children and our loved ones, our neighbours and friends, and all Christian folk, this night and always. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. <laughs> 